Happy Thursday, guys. Um, I'm just getting started with my day, drinking some coffee. I let it get cold, but anyway, hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. Um, I'm just getting started with my day, guys. I I, my head is still in rollers. <laughs> yes, I still do rollers. <laughs> still old school. Hey, I do my own hair, but I still go get my hair done. But it's just that, you know, we're quarantining right now. So, but anyway, guys, trying to stay away from as mu much people I can, but it's hard to do. But just keep your zinc, taking your zinc, vitamins, multivitamins, vitamin D as well, even vitamin A. Vitamin A, to, A is good for immunity as well as your eye health for those who sub, who have diabetes and um, high blood pressure. Yeah, those things um, hurt our, our, our eyes. Um, but anyway, guys, yeah, so I have my planner. Don't mind my makeup, guys. I haven't really finished doing my makeup. I just put on some um, concealer to conceal my darkness under my eyes because of the medicine that I'm taking, the blood thinners I'm taking, they've caused me to have dark circles under my eyes, like really dark circles. Like you can really tell that I'm on medic medication. So I'm just finding out because my cousin is a, she's a cosmetologist. And she told me that the reason why I may be um, shedding a lot of hair is because maybe it's my, high blood pressure medicine or the new blood thinners that I'm on. So, yeah, I got to, um, when I set my appointment with my cosmetologist here, I need to have a deep conditioning. And um, so, yeah, good morning, guys. So I'm just sitting here with my planner and my cup of coffee, um, just getting ready to get my day started, guys. And I was just um, working on my business at this this morning, this period of the day. Um, I've already checked off my things on my checklist. So remember what I told you guys, when you're starting a business, think of what you want to do first, what you're interested in doing, what you love to do. Write it down, write step one, step two, step three, and then start checking it off, checking it off, checking it off. But you can look at people's YouTube videos, with for free information you can google free information you don't have to pay anyone to help you that's why i leave my email for you guys to email me if you have any questions about something regarding business you can always email me and if i have the time i can um leave a message i'll leave a message um but i will get back with you <clears throat> but do something that you want to do do something that you want to do you have a passion to do it because don't start a business if you don't really have a passion for it. Like I said, I've started businesses way back in 1990 something. All right. And um, I changed what I did to something different. Then I changed it to something different again. But it's always been the same area, financial services. But um, so because I have a background in financial services, accounting, I don't have a degree in those things, but my degree is in business. So um, it started off as healthcare, but I changed my major when I was in um, when I was in college uh, from nursing to wanting to do 
administrative, the administrative side of healthcare. So I changed my major from nursing, RN, to um, healthcare management, to operations management, da 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 da. So anyway, so I got 15 classes of 15 more classes before I get my bachelor's in operations management. <clears throat> but I do have an AA degree. Um, so yeah, so um, that's why I stayed pretty much in the healthcare field because if you get into the healthcare field, guys, you will you can stay there until you retire by doing all different kinds of things. Okay, you can start off being um, a file clerk, work your way up to front office, or vice versa. You know what I'm saying? Start off as front office, do file clerk, then work your, and then in the file clerk, you can go to college. You can maybe even have the company pay for you to go back to school and get you an AA degree, AS degree, or bachelor's degree in registered health information technology. And these are the people who who make sure they manage the um, health records in the office or organization or group or hospital. They make some good good money, and it's a good career, guys. If I wouldn't have been in the um, health care and management, I would have did um, the RHIT program. But because I, like I said, I didn't want, once I went into uh, nursing, took my pre, I took all of my prerequisites, but I was at FAMU and I decided not to wait the long waiting list because I wanted to graduate um, eight, as soon as possible because I've seen a lot of the people that I went to, with, to Tallahassee with matriculate a little bit ahead of me because I did stop. I did have a long break when I transferred from Southern University in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. So yeah, so that's my little background, guys. So if you don't, you know, when I come on here talking about business, yes, I do have, I do have a background in business, starting a business, um, closing a business, starting something different, and keeping to keep going, regardless of what my past has been, I have always been motivated, guys. And that's why I come on here to motivate you guys, too. Yes, I may say some things that some of the viewers may come on over here. don't know what I'm talking about. And I might say something that irks them. That's OK. I see the little thumb downs, <laughs> but make sure you guys thumb it up. So anyway, like, comment, share, subscribe, guys. Um, and don't forget to go over to my cooking channel, Cooking with Bronze. I'm going to work on that channel, so don't mind. It's just a few videos over there. But um, I thought that having a new phone, because I went from an Android to an iPhone, that my, my videos would be better. But I noticed that because I'm on this old laptop, because I can only go live on my laptop, it's fuzzy. You see how fuzzy it is? It's not like how the YouTubers who we, you know, would have a lot of views and stuff, how clear their pictures are because they're able to go live maybe on their iPhones or a better laptop or something like that. But since I don't have a thousand viewers yet, you know, and I'm wake, I'm working on it. <laughs> but anyway, um, but yeah, I guess because this channel is a serious channel, it's like a pretty much a truther channel. Don't mind me, but guys, my speech is I'm a Southern girl. OK, so sometimes my speech come across a little, you know, you know, whatever country. But now I live in the city and we have country areas, but I live in the city. Um, but anyway. So, yeah. Yeah, guys. So I just wanted to come on just telling you to write down your things. Write down your things in your planner and check them off. Check them off. Get organized. Get organized. Have your passwords. Have a planner. And possibly have one of the planners where you can lock it. But if you can't, just make sure you keep your planner somewhere where you can keep it locked and safe because you want something all in one place. Something may be better than this. This is just what I got from Staples. I keep it in my purse. But I also have another folder that I keep everything in. So I can just, if I'm, you know, not able to get to this, I can get right to it. I can find what I need to find in that folder and it stays in a safe, secure place because it has my insurance, all of that. So 
You want to have a planner to keep all your passwords, all your because your business, you're going to require to have a lot of passwords. You're going to need a bank, a business checking. You're going to need the password for that. You, your personal business checking, all of that. I mean, your personal checking, you're going to need a password for that, all of that. If you don't want to keep your like with me, I don't I don't keep my personal checking or bank with my business. I keep that separate. You know what I'm saying? I don't want the same company having my access to my personal. So I keep my business with another company. So um, but that's just me. But this little live is just basically to help you motivate yourself for the startup people, the people who haven't even started yet. All it takes is just one action one move just do it you know what i'm saying i've always come on here talking about motivate yourself to win just do it you know never give up keep going striving for the best you got to be willing to just do it guys just get started so write your stuff down write the steps that you need first you need a name first you need to know what you want to do first you need to know that you're going to love what you do then you're going to get Write your business name on a on in your folder planner. Then you're gonna register your name. Okay. Then you're gonna work on your uh, business phone number. Then you're gonna work on your website. And all of this stuff is free. You can, <laughs> I mean, except for your business name registering with your state. So you have to Google that with your state to make sure you um, are doing that the right way. Okay. Because here in Florida, it's only fifty dollars to register your business name. And then you can add like $10 towards that fee for certified copy. And then make sure you go to Wix.com and create you a little simple free website. And, and the rest is research, guys. Just start researching what you need to do. Make sure you, you're dotting your I's and crossing your T's. And um, then you can start working on motive, uh, marketing your, your company. And it's to, to me, I think things like being a person who is going to provide a service or goods. And I always go back to if you don't you don't have everything that you need or you don't have a lot of money to start off doing a business, just start off cooking for something, you know, just cooking and, and posting up on the side of the road. You see it all the time. I could go right down in the black business area, the old black business area. And all cities have an old black business community area. Post up on the corner. Uh, you know, make sure that the, um, you're not breaking any laws of your city. You can always call up your city office, city hall, whatever, and ask them, what do I need to do to get a vendor's license? Okay. And all you have to do really, and if you don't, I'm not telling you to go break any laws or anything like that, but even if you go to a say convenience store and ask them, you know, can I post up here? You know, I'm waiting on my vendor's license. Da, 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 da. Can I post up here just this weekend, you know, just to sell this or whatever? I'm sure some people will say yes. They don't mind because that's going to bring people into the store anyway. Maybe get a drink or some chips or cigarettes, whatever. I'm not condoning any of that, but I'm just saying. So just got to stay focused, guys. Research, research, research. You know what I'm saying? And always follow the rules of your city. You don't want to break any laws. You don't want to get stopped before you start. OK, so always get something like a vendor's license. Um, but once you're registered your name, look into actually going to your city, getting an occupational license, especially if you want to work from home. And if you want to be legit, you want to do that. OK. So, yeah, that's what I'm just working on my business today, guys. And I hope you're doing well. I'll probably. Um, oh, yeah, guys, I wanted to tell you. Um, hold on. Let me light this candle. And I'm running out of candles. And even candles, candles, something simple as candles. You just bring your big old box of candles that you bought from wholesale. Okay already made you don't have to do any work it's better that way just get wholesale you can even get a wholesale license but some wholesalers may not require you to have a wholesale license but still do your research buy in bulk at wholesale rates which is a lower rate than you would normally pay 
You know what I'm saying? And then sell higher and make a profit. Get a whole box of your wholesale candles. Take them to the corner store, like I told you. But get permission from the corner store. Ask them, can you post up? when You have your portable table there with your business logo sign or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And just have your candles sporadically placed on the table. Different, you know, scents and stuff. Maybe even have, burn them. Look, I need a new candle. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to go out and buy a candle. You know what I'm saying? If I knew somebody who sold candles online, I would go, I would probably purchase from them. But I don't know anyone because I haven't, that advertisement haven't come my way yet. But I bet you if I was to get on Instagram and search for candles, hey, I'll probably find somebody who's selling candles, you know? So I'm just going to light my candle.